my channel if you're new here hi welcome I'm Lisette uh, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're into diamond painting and for those of you who have been with me for a long long time thanks so much for watching again and guys I just want to start by thanking you for all the lovely comments that I got on last week's video which was a really hard video to make we won't get into it <laughs> in this video, in this post review of Make a Wish and Take a Bite, but I just wanted to say thank you. Right guys, I have finished her! Make a Wish, Take a Bite! Let's go over this one because I think it is one of the my favorites that I have done till date. Look, it's a diamond art club, it's a square, it has 48 colors, 42 by 106, and it's a Mandy Manzano. I have made two videos regarding her face and her eyes. I'll put the link up there. There you can see that I've changed the mouth and the, the eyes a little bit. And guys, what I have done, I have blinked up her crown yes me <laughs> the one that doesn't do enhancements i thought i would give it a go and i'll zoom you in first of all let me just show you the entire piece because it's a long one guys but look look wow this was so much fun to work on especially the bottom part this her bodice that's really really beautiful oh and i blinged up the apple in her hands i used a b's for that but her crown okay i'll bl bring you up close because otherwise it's almost impossible to see <laughs> okay so what i did was i changed this part you see these are almost all a b's except for the dark three tens but this is supposed to be all three tens, but look, I used ABs for this. All ABs! And these, this part, those are supposed to be black ABs. So if you're thinking about, okay, should I use a black AB? This is black and this is a black AB. And I always call the black ABs oil slick. And there you can see them next to each other. So it really isn't black. But look, guys. You get a nice di distinction of the crown and her hair. Like this. I'm really pleased with the result. And in the description box below this video, I give a summary of which ABs I have used. Because in the original uh, Make a Wish, Take a Bite, there aren't any ABs in here, only the white ABs for the outlining. So I have changed this all up and used colors that were coming closest to the original. And it really doesn't do it justice if you see it like this through the lens. But maybe, as you have seen at the beginning of the video, uh, <laughs> it's really, really shiny. So I'm really pleased with the result. Guys, the drills for this diamond painting were perfect. I had more than enough drills. I'll show it. it it's all in here still. Look, I have oh, enough leftovers. Let me just show you. On the back, you see, for each color I have leftovers and the black I actually have an entire bag extra 
and I'm really pleased because these are good quality and as you may have heard uh, me tell in another video I'm working on Aussie Girl from Diamond Art Club as well that's a square as well but the black ABs in that one uh, the black ABs sorry the black drills in that one are not the best quality so I'm going to use this bag for that diamond painting so that helps and I have these left over look that's also almost an entire uh, baggy so I can use those for Aussie Girl so that's great okay and all my leftover drills I'm going to save them and I'm going to put them in my collection of spare drills and I do have a plan for my spare drills I'm going to work on a heaven and earth design canvas that I have ordered a long time ago I'll put a link to that one over there so you can go check it out but I need to collect a lot more drills I'm only saving my diamond art club drills square drills mm -hmm. at least the ones that are really good so the blacks from Aussie girl I won't be saving but the other ones are all great and I'm only um, keeping square drills not my round drills uh, because the heaven and earth design uh, canvas is a square drill canvas so I can use my spare drills for that so normally I do kidding down and chats but I just did a whip and chat last week so I'm just going to kit this down myself not make a video of it and uh, well I'll do a kidding down and chat for one of my other paintings that I'm currently working on but uh, <laughs> just so you know what I'm doing with my leftover drills okay um, well guys this diamond painting is so much fun to work on I love the width of the princess panels because it's really easy to work and once you're going you can roll it up always with the drills on the outside and guys to be honest lots of times I roll them like this and work and for with the diamond art club because the you I don't have any popping drills or whatsoever that's not a problem at all but maybe with other <laughs> companies I wouldn't recommend that so just stick by the basic rules once it's drilled roll them with the drills on the outside basic rule it works okay guys so for me this is finish number 16 of my diamond painting stash detox in case you don't know what that's about I'll put a link over there so you can check out that series but look guys in my notebook oh, make a wish take a bite number 16 and that also means this is my logbook for my stash detox where is it yes and within the countdown sorry I couldn't wait I already put the sticker there so guys 52 at the start 16 done 36 to go <laughs> we're getting there slowly but surely slowly but surely okay right guys so this one last time this beautiful look at that this really really is a beautiful piece it's really fun to work on I highly recommend it change the eyes if you want to like me or uh, I have seen a couple of beautiful changes um, where they have made blue eyes and that was in the Facebook group of um, diamonds and emeralds from Katie and Lindsay um, there I have seen some photos and maybe you can find them on Instagram as well so if you don't like the eyes you can change them out I really like the way my mouth turned out and I'm really happy with my crown so that was fun to try and guys to be honest am I going to enhance more projects after this I don't think that's my thing I'm not an AB kind of girl I like them if they are in the painting I use them but I'm not about blinging up <laughs> um, 
If you want to know where I got these Ebidrills, because I'm in Europe, I'm in France, and I got these from Smith Beats. I'll put a link in the description below. They are based in the UK and they sell AB drills. So if you're in Europe and um, you want to get them from a company that's based in Europe as well, that might be something to look into. Um, okay, if you've got any questions about this diamond painting, um, the product information is in the description below. This one is still available at Diamond Art Club. I don't know if it's in stock, but it's definitely still in the collection. And that's great because with all the other uh, princess panels that we know of, they are no longer available at Diamond Art Club. I think only this one, uh, Elizabeth um, the Beast, well, just these kind of size panels with the stained glass look. It's just so much fun to do. And the sparkle is insane. <laughs> look. <laughs> and I didn't have a problem with popping drills. I almost never have a pop problem with popping drills. With Diamond Art Club, I never have a problem. Um, what was funny though is that on certain places there was an accidental misprint of a symbol. So for instance, when you're in here, then all of a sudden there was a symbol for black. Um, and that happened a couple of times, but it's so obvious that you know, okay, this can't be right. So you just put the right color drill on it. Well, I think she's absolutely beautiful. I think this was uh, certainly this year the most fun I had working on a diamond painting. So this really is a diamond painting that I would really recommend. I love it. Let me know what you think. Do you like this diamond painting? Maybe you're a little bit creeped out about the eyes still. I can totally understand. But look guys, the bodice. I think this is the most beautiful bodice of any of the diamond painting princesses myself. And I like the bottom as well. The colors that you use are so much fun. There's a little bit of purple in it. It was just, well, I had a blast. <laughs> it was just so much fun. Okay, guys, next week I'll have a monthly check-in for my diamond painting stash detox. And well, you'll see this one also because I show the finishes of the month. And this is a finish of July. Finish number 16. I'm so happy. Right guys, if you're still here, thanks so much for watching till the end. I hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And guys, I hope to see you next week. Enjoy a little diamond painting during your holiday if you're lucky enough to go on holiday right now. And I hope to see you next week for another video. Guys, thanks so much for watching.